Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a bit of the old ring effect. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. So first and foremost, I'd like to say a big shout out to Surface Studios. Um, I will link their YouTube channel in the description below for providing the footage uh, for me to sort of play around with. So I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. So um, I've got a static image here. Um, and I'm going to just basically be using that. You can use obviously moving footage, but obviously if you're using moving footage, then you're going to want to do it a lot differently, i.e. tracking, so on and so on. So uh, let's just use this uh, image here. Now it is usable in film if you use a static image because obviously, you know, the, the edit is going to be moving, the screen is going to be moving, so it will give you the illusion, obviously, that, that it is actually a moving picture. So firstly and foremost, I've just dropped the image into a new comp and I'm just going to make this 3D layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tilt it up a bit. And the reason is because I want the TV to be flat. When I shot this, it wasn't a flat uh, image. So I've got the TV flat there. Um, and then I'm just going to scale it down. This will make, scale it up, sorry. This is going to make life a little bit easier uh, for me when I add um, the, this sort of footage. So very simply, I'm going to get the well footage and I'm just going to drag it onto my screen and then I'm just going to scale it up to fit uh, the dimensions of the TV basically. So I'm just going to do that and I'm just going to put it into place and just fill it and just use it basically to fill uh, the screen. So that don't look too bad, we've got a bit over here that needs covering up. And obviously this is moving footage as well, so like I say guys, if you want to use this sort of technique in a film, um, if you're switching from an actor to a subject, obviously this is going to give the same effect because this is uh, moving footage as you can see here. So very, very simple, very, very cool. Now we've got our uh, girl, which is obviously uh, green screened, and I'm just going to drop that on top of my layer top layer so it shows up and I'm just going to scale her up a bit and then I'm going to get my masking tool and just simply cut uh, as much as much of her out but keeping as much of the green screen in as well so if we need to make adjustments uh, we can afterwards Okay, so she's basically in. So we're going to key her out using key lights. I'm going to come up to effect, keying, and key light 1.2. And then I'm going to use my dabber and just basically hit anywhere on the green screen and basically dab her out. So that's pretty cool. Then we're going to go to uh, screen map. Um, we're going to open up screen map down here and then adjust the black. So they jet black typical sort of green screen and then reduce the white so basically it's all white come up to final result then boom now all we're doing now is playing around with a girl um, to basically match the composition so I'm gonna bring her down and obviously because the size of the screen I want to make her quite large because the screen is large and we need to sort of be a bit more realistic with her then I'm sort of going to bring her down so she's touching the top of the fireplace like so and then if we quickly just ram preview this she will go back inside the screen so we've got some nice footage playing in the background obviously you have her coming out of the screen and now she's going backwards uh, into the screen so in order to fix that we're just going to click on her we're going to come up to uh, layer, go to time, then time reverse, and that will switch her. And then we're just going to gently move her down so she's sort of co covered in the manhole. And then we are going to fix her again so she's covering the manhole just there. And let's go to about there. When a mask starts, I'm going to cut that bit out, which will come to work area. And now let's round preview this and see how she's doing. Just 
want. All you want is obviously the effect of her basically coming out of the TV screen. Looking good. You know, you want her to sort of match up for whatever surface you've got underneath. So, moving there, boom. So, that doesn't look too bad. So, what I'm going to do is I want to cut it down. <coughs> the clip. Just keep what we basically need. Trim comp's work area. And just go for the clip. Look like she's putting her hand on the fireplace, which is cool, and that she is basically uh, calling out the set. So that don't look too bad. Other adjustments, obviously, you know, it's entirely based on taste. So you could get the background, for instance. Um, you could go to um, effects. Sorry, let me just go to effects. Go color correction. Uh, let's open up some curves. Let's change the RGB to green and just, just bring that up so we've got sort of like a green tint to the background and you can sort of even add if you've got it um, a little bit of twitch to her which I would like to do so I'm going to go over I'm going to go to my girl I'm going to go to effects uh, video copilot this is an optional extra I'm going to go to twitch and this is my twitch here and I'm just going to enable so it open up behavior and I'm going to go to let's have a look uh, let's go punch your man up just a bit I want her just to be shaking a little bit so let's go here right so Punch the speed up. Uh, let's go enable randomize. Bring that up a bit. Yeah, so that's basically it. So she's sort of blending into the actual scene that she's in. Actually, I don't know why I put Twitch there. Let's just get rid of Twitch because I don't really like Twitch anyway. Right. Okay, so here's a girl. Let's get rid of that Twitch. And so, and that's basically it, guys. I mean, the case is of just, you know, you could color correct her. Let's go to effects. Because uh, she, oh, she's, she's on a different layer. So you want to sort of match her up with the uh, scene itself. Let's go curves. Uh, let's go to green. Because obviously the background's green. And let's just punch her up just a bit. Or we can get... Let's put this down. So she matches the TV. Bring it down a bit. And that don't look too bad. That don't look too bad at all. So yeah, there you go guys, simple little uh, effect uh, in After Effects, a bit of the old ring there. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please remember like, like rating would be appreciated um, and as always guys, I will definitely catch you in the next tutorial, ciao ciao! Thank you.